Can we hack life in 10 minutes or less? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. You can call us the hunkiest hackers from Honolulu to Hoboken because we have hacked everything from magic to crafts to life. So we're gonna be taking it up a notch with a brand new batch of hacks from a huge range of categories, all right? All without instruction. Now that seems like no big deal until you're face to face with a baby doll head, a dog collar, and a high heeled shoe, and then being expected to figure out some kind of life changing hack. And by the way, that one is for unclogging your toilet. I'll explain it later. While only wearing a dog collar. Yes. It's time for, can we figure out these hacks without breaking our backs over the instructions we lack in time for a snack? Okay, we're gonna be given a set of items we need to create a particular hack we found on the internet, which is supposed to greatly improve the way you do something in your life. And the catch is, we have no like idea what these hacks are or how the items work together to do it. And we're also gonna be given some, uh, some sneaky decoys, items that do not belong there. We have to figure out which one those are. We're gonna start the game with 50 points. If we get stuck during a round, we can spend some of those points on lifelines and we'll have 10 minutes to figure each hack out if time runs out before we do, that's a five point penalty. If we can leave this whole episode with yeah. 30 points intact, well then Gen Z or ever, hello ever. Hey guys, what's up? You're gonna be singing us a hit hack song? Yeah, oh it's gonna be a hit. The hittenest hit you've ever hit. If we keep 30 points. That's cool shirt, man. Thank you, it's new. You're, <laughs> you're still talking to ever? Yeah, ever. I thought that was over. Yeah, right. Let's hack it. In front of you are all the items you need to complete your hack along with some decoys. Uh -huh. Your lifelines are as follows. I can tell you what category the hack falls into, like cleaning hacks, food hacks, etc. for one point. Yeah. I can tell you which items are decoys. There are two decoys, one point each. Or you can get a hint from ever for three points. Let's put 10 minutes on the clock and you can start now. We have a pencil. We have a USB cable. This is like a lightning charger. Yes, specifically. thank you for clarifying. No, and is it fully intact? Because if it was like frayed or on one side, then maybe yeah. the hack would be to like fix it. We have some silly putty. Remember silly putty? I do. You could like lay it out on paper, newspaper and then transfer the print. Well, Link, that's how they... I believe that you are all over this hack already because I think it has something to do with writing something on the tape, putting it on the silly putty and then giving yourself a little tat. So you think we're gonna use both? <laughs> and you can't outsmart us. All right, so uh, tape, uh, a flat iron, it's already hot. I believe that's And we have a fully functioning blow dryer. Oh, sexy. Sexy, look at you. It's especially sexy when you yell sexy. I, I just, I, I feel so confident at this point. I can just go ahead and tell you right now, this is a decoy. Well, can you, uh, can you get it back? Yeah, it's just right here. Cause you know, we're a team. Yeah, it really didn't go anywhere. I, I, I just, just kinda did that. I kinda feel like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a decoy. <laughs> See? Woo yeah. All right, so, but what if it's not? Well, then we're in trouble. Well, let's just try it for a second. If I were to take this. So you wanna you wanna write on the tape. What do you want your tattoo to be? My name? Okay. Just, what about sexy, sexy britches? Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm doing my name. So, so you wrote. And then sexy. Then you're saying that you want this to be on it? Put this over the top I mean, of it. Why don't we ask for the category? Uh, well, let's just see first. So we're gonna have to heat it. I think we're gonna have to heat it. Uh 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 uh. Okay. Put it on my hand. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. And nothing. Okay. All right. Maybe I was wrong. Okay. I'm I'm willing to admit. I'm a All good right, boy. Stevie. What category are we working in? You're trying to execute a tech hack. Oh, well, you might want to get that cord back. Okay. I think we need to we need to learn a decoy. The first decoy item is the silly putty. Ah, oh, man. Oh, it's not a tattoo. One of these is a decoy. Don't sometimes you want to like wrap your cord up? Like you're a guy that like- your Oh, cord oh, oh, yes. All right, so watch, watch. You're exactly right. You don't even know it. 
This is a oh, we're gonna this is a, this we're is gonna a way to store. No, 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 no. We're gonna making it crinkly. We're gonna make it like a old phone yes, cord. Yes, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Look at Ever's face. Yeah, we're gonna make it like a phone cord so you can seem cool. And what it will do is then it stays. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ever. This is smart. This is a good hack. Here, the tape at the top. I think maybe. Well, I have to hold it here, and then you. Just keep wrapping around and pushing, wrapping around and pushing. Now, do we need the blow dryer or the, the flat iron? Blow dryer. I think it might be the flat iron. The flat iron might be too, uh, you already kind of melted it a little bit. I'm going for high heat here. Ow, 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 ow. We don't need any hints from ever. We don't need some, some young whippersnapper to tell us how to do stuff. Let her rip, Link. What do you mean, let her rip? Take it off. Oh, we did it, man. Look at that. Look at that. 1983. Now so, do you see me all in right. the airport. We didn't do it. Yeah, we, we did it. We did it. We, we did, did it. it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We, we didn't fully do it, but we, we, did, we it. did it. We did it. Guys. You did it! Yeah! Yay! The, so, the little, ha the little uh, hair straightener, I think, was a little bonus that actually wasn't part of it. Yeah. But, I mean, you used it strategically, so, yeah, and you if, got it. And if we were meticulous ever, what would have happened? Would it have been, like, a tight curl, like a short and curly? Yeah, probably, but you guys did great! What's a good Gen Z word for great, though? Uh, bussin'. Bussin'? Like, you guys did a bussin' job. Bussin', like, yeah. like a bus. The hack was bussin'. <laughs> All right, you guys did well the first round. Let's see if you can keep it up. You have the same lifelines as before, and your time starts now. We have a house plant. We have what appears to be water. Do you want to check that? Just give it a little swig. This appears to water. be Dawn detergent, not a sponsor. Uh, in college, a here's a little trick for you college folk out there. <laughs> hmm. um, if you have Dawn, what we did is we took a little X-Acto knife and we cut out the W and we turned it upside down. So it said, damn. <laughs> that makes all your friends laugh. An empty water bottle. Duct tape. Dang, there's a lot of stuff here. This is kind of crazy. There's two decoys. A cotton swab. Uh, Q-tip, not a sponsor. Mm, that's why I said cotton swab. And what is this called, an owl? This is- An owl. This is, um, I don't know what this does, but it makes a hole. Uh, one bamboo chopstick and the shortest garden hose I've ever seen in my life. It, that, that's what they call a connector hose. If you start poking this, this becomes one of those seepy hoses. We could do like a constant watering of a, of a house plant. So if you go on vacation. Well, that was the first thing I was thinking. And what you would do with that is if you, you, you would, you fill this up with water, you poke holes in the in the top and hook poke holes in the bottom and you leave it in your plant when you go on vacation like that and it just constantly waters. It's like one of those globe things that you see on the, in, the infomercials. Yes. Okay, I would like to hold this. <laughs> I was agreeing with you. Um, but we have way too many things to just do that little trick. You know what, I kinda want a hint from ever this round. Should we start with we, that? I, I mean, it's three should. points. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so uh, these plant babies are thirsty, so <laughs> bottoms up. <laughs> oh, okay, so we were right. He seemed to really validate what you're saying. Bottoms up. But yeah, you don't need, this is this is a decoy. The dawn is a decoy. This will kill a plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you put. But that's just, well, there's too many other items left. Well, what if, all right, first of all, you fill this with water, you put the cap back on. Let, let's do that. Yeah. Don't make us look bad. I'm trying to get like a laminar flow here. That's the only thing I watch on the internet lately. That's laminar flows. Why did you fill it up so tall? Because you don't want any air in there. Because that way it seeps out slowly. The more air that's in it, the more it's gonna pour out when you poke the holes. What if we took the cap off, we put this on there, and we duct tape this on the end of that this. That actually seems to make more sense. Because it, look, it actually, Wants yeah, to fit. I think you're right about this. And then, then we wouldn't need this. That's just for us personally. So these are the, we, these are the we two. Can't hear we're saying other. these are the two decoys. Well, so we have to use no, the bamboo. I, ha I have this uh, stick. Maybe this is like something to hold it in place. This is like yes. This yeah, is like yeah, a um, yeah. support. That, what do you call that? Your wife knows all about plants. You got to learn the lingo, man. 
Well, if we both know the same things, then will we need each other? Mm, good point. Uh, okay, I agree with what you said about taping. I it. think the answer is yes, but I don't else? know exactly what that's going to do, but it feels right. If it so, feels right, so, do it. That's so, what I tell my children. So tape. So tape that. I'll hold it. Whoa. Can you screw it first? Maybe it'll screw on. What are the chances that that would work? I think it is getting tighter. Do you only lift it up? Okay, well you still need to tape it because it's not airtight. Super tight. Just put that around there. Oh gosh, that was a, you did a bunch there at the end. And should we have already poked holes in something? It's like no, no, my no, 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 no. We can all you can poke holes in in, in, in things at any time. Okay, so take the bottle, all the bottle, and I think like I'm going this. to poke a hole in this. All right, so there's already water filling up the hose. I probably shouldn't do that yet. See, I'm in. Up, up, up. I'm in. And then. And then I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna turn it up like this, and I'm going to secure it to this with another piece of tape. Yes, law. <laughs> the green boys. I mean, I think we should invent hacks. Why are we just trying to replicate other people's hacks? We're so good at this. We should devote the remaining years of our lives, who knows how much we have. To yeah, just, yeah. And now it's just like when you want to water your beautiful plant, you just come by and lift up the bottle. I think you get your cat to do that. Put your cat to work. Now see, it's not exactly watertight, but it is watering very nicely is over it, here. Is it watering? Oh, oh yeah, I mean, look at that. Now put it down, now put it down. Like, no, no, put the bottle down and I'll see if it starts watering. See, it starts watering, now lift it up. But how do we lift it up when we're on vacation? I think you get somebody to come over and lift it. Are we, did we do it? <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> wait, we didn't do it. Lucas just gave us another one of these. That's a hint. Maybe, is the, is the hose a decoy? I don't think you're allowed to ask me that. Can What's you tell us a decoy? What's a decoy? The dish soap. <laughs> oh, come on, Stevie. <laughs> The dish show. Ask me, ask me for your other okay, decoy. Okay, what's another decoy? The garden hose. Oh no! Oh what? Oh gosh! Okay, hold on. Yeah, you're right, in a hey, freaking hey, garden okay, hose. listen. We, hey, we gotta hurry we're, now. We were on the right track. We were on the right track. Okay. You don't need the freaking garden hose, but you need a Q-tip. Yeah, maybe. Here, fill this up with water. Don't worry about that. I can't. Oh, you yeah. don't need that. Oh yeah, we have another one. What the hell's wrong with you? Come on, fill this up. <laughs> don't worry about laminar flow. Just. Why is the water so warm? Stop. That's good. Stop? Yeah. Now. Put the top on that. Now use the auger. Already did. One minute remains. So you do this for your whole vacation. You, and then, oh. And then you need, you still need this because, I mean, just to, Right. You need the bamboo. Oh gosh. Hurry! There's another one over Come there. Come on! There's another one over yes, there. take it, take I, it. I already got it, I got it. Take it. You tape that. Tape that. Just around the whole plant. <laughs> yeah. Right. There's one item. You haven't used. Yeah, the Q-tip. And that Q-tip, you can, okay, you can stop. Now. That Q-tip. I'm trying. Less than 30 seconds. I can't. Just set, a, just set the tape down. Just set it down. Uh, the Q-tip is just when you finish, you just, you, you, you just make sure you got the water and you got the water up. You just clean it up, make it look nice. I don't know what the Q-tip is. Oh, the Q-tip is for testing the soil. To see if it's too It's wet. soil. <laughs> yeah, the moisture, it's a moisture tester. Yeah. And time. You were so, like, we thought that you had it right from the beginning because, yep. yes, it is a hack to water your plants while you're gone, but um, ever, let's see uh, how it's done without killing the plant. Oh, uh, yeah, I would hate to be that plant right now because you really uh, did a number on it, but you were so close. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the water bottle. You were right there. You got to fill it up. Oh, this water is warm. You Laminar. Joking. Laminar? I don't know what that means. It's when the water looks, whatever's being poured doesn't okay, look like Okay, well, moved. do you know what a dumper is? Don't judge me for my knowledge. All right, then you're gonna take this a all. Butt? Is it a butt? Uh, yeah, nice work. Good job. <laughs> yeah, you're busting, man. So then what's yeah. laminar? I told you I didn't know. <laughs> 
We're gonna take this all, you're gonna poke a hole. That's what my man L Money taught me just a minute ago. And you're actually gonna take the Q-tip and you're gonna pop it in there, okay? So you're gonna pop it through that oh. little hole because that's gonna control the flow of the water oh. and let it leak slowly. Yes, please clap more for me. Wow. Please clap more, that's really. So it's it's like a valve kind of a thing. And then yeah, you can like do all this. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that okay, and then you do that and then you take your plant and you're just gonna stick it in there. And then the Q-tip, you see, you can't see, hold on, let me spin it around, hold on. It drips slowly because the Q-tip is, uh, it has fuzziness, which allows it to absorb the water and not let it all drain out super fast. And that's the hack. Great job, almost. <laughs> the real question is, well, how, many, how much credit are we getting for like going to the five yard line? Zero. Gracious, look at this stuff. Quick invitation before we get into the stuff. I wanna invite you to check out a couple of the new mythical podcasts that we've added to our roster. First of all, from our very own Stevie and her high school best friend, Nagin. They got their own podcast, Best Friends Back. All right! Did you um, get the sweet acidophilus? What? <laughs> when I first got to like elementary school, there were two milks. All of a sudden there were red cartons and they said, this is sweet acidophilus. <laughs> What are you talking about? If you had a sweet acidophilus that you hadn't fully finished, <laughs> you knew what to do. You knew where, what table to show up at. Also, Trevor has a podcast. Hey, Ever, you know you know about Trevor from uh, Mythical Kitchen? Yeah, I've like heard of him like one or two times. He's got his own podcast. Really? You li have you listened to it? Sheesh. No, I haven't yet, but I'll be sure to go give it a listen. It sounds it's sick. It's called <laughs> Trevor Talks Too Much. And you get those bowling balls with those dirty holes. We should open a bowling alley and call it Dirty Holes. <laughs> Down at Dirty Holes on a Friday night. <laughs> it's packed. You know Dirty Holes is packed on a Friday night. So, Sheesh. So Sheesh. check that out wherever you get your podcast. Okay. This is, okay, this is strange. I have, I have an idea, but let's just go let's, through the items. You so, guys, this is tight too. Like you, you're, you're, you are you 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 could win or lose the whole thing based on this round. I'm starting your time now. We have gloves. I would assume the gloves the are necessary because we're dealing with glass. I'm I mean, willing to oh, bet. These are both right-handed gloves. Yep, so I, we each get a right hand. I'm so willing we got to bet some, the bread is just for us to eat. Bread, popsicle sticks, um, this is crushed glass. All right, Link, this has to be- But hold on, let me tell you. An this art is, hack. This thing right here, it's a heater of some sort, and there's something that's yeah, that stuff, melting in here. That stuff is some sort of resin that we are going to put the glass yeah, in. Yeah, smell that? Yep. We're gonna put the glass in there, and we're gonna put it on this and make a pretty, pretty thing. Man, oh, you know what? Let's wand this stuff around the edge. That's what I was gonna say, yeah. Yeah, you do this, and then you put the glass in there, and you create like a glass vase. <laughs> We're making a vase. Well, I mean, we can use our our stuff. Well, yeah, yeah. We need to get rid of a decoy item. The first decoy item is the sawed-off two-liter bottle. Oh crap, Rhett. Oh, it never, never came back down. It's oh, a, it's right there. It's up, it's up there behind the album. Um, man, that was a big one, Steve. Oh, you know what? I think the bread is, a is decoy. The, mold. the bag is needed. Bread bag, buddy. All right, what's the second decoy? Oh, we're already there this round? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. We, yeah, can, yeah, we yeah. can use them. We're desperate. Sure. We're now okay. at 37. The second decoy is the bowl of hot wax. <laughs> oh, oh, of course, of course. We're just making a glass sandwich. We don't. <laughs> we're making a glass sandwich and we're giving it to our buddy. I've always wanted to do this kind of thing. Even since I was a kid, I wanted to make a glass sandwich and just take a big old bite of it. And now, on the internet, on my very own show. We can still burn three points on an ever hint. Ever? Yeah? Hint it. You guys want a hint? Actually, I want to bring in my friend to give you this hint. He's a super good friend. Come on in, Randy. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> Happy Cotton Candy Day, daddies! Hey, Randy. I heard you were making glass sandwiches. That's yeah. my go-to order at Quiznos. <laughs> Do you have time for a sweet nothing, or should I just read the head? Oh, no, yeah, I, we want a sweet nothing. Long okay, distance. Okay, I'll yell it from over here. All right. <sighs> hey, Rhett, after this, you want to grab beers with my college buddy, Moog, the Lord of Blood? That sounds awesome. 
Yeah, Link, you can't come. Moog says you were weird to him at the Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time for the hint. Yeah, time for the hint. This hack slaps. It's snatched. I must stand, it's true. So to all those without a gluten allergy, let's raise a glass to safety. That is, if you want the W. <laughs> that clue was a whole mood. <laughs> Just hits differently, I don't know. So yeah. a bre it's a bread glass. No, no, no. It's cleaning up broken glass with bread. Ah? Uh? Yes. I think if you've, if you've spilled some glass, you've broken some glass, in fact, get that other smaller tray. So let's get like a, you know, no one would spill this much glass on, you know. So just, let's just do like a realistic, oh, I busted my glass, it's quiet at night. And then like you're that like, much oh, glass? And so yeah, so it's just like, hey, I gotta clean up my glass with my bread. It, it's not working though. It works a little bit. So just smooshing, smooshing glass with bread? Guys, I gotta tell you, you did figure it out. It's really for those like smaller pieces of glass, you know, that can be really dangerous yeah, that yeah, you yeah. just press down. Yeah, you press, once once look, you look sweep this up, look. I can see the little glitter pieces. It gets everything. Exactly. Especially the little pieces. And guess what? You get everything, because you get a song from Ever, which is everyone's favorite part of these episodes. Yeah, we're gonna do a collab. We're gonna do a little song for you guys together. Oh, yeah. wow, I never, I never Ever, saw drop this Ever, drop a sick, nasty beat. Oh, here it comes. Yeah. Life hacks, life hacks, for my birthday I want an axe. Life hacks, life hacks, a raccoon goes in the trash for snacks. Life hacks, life hacks, I like to go pee pee in my slacks. Pee pee in my slacks. <laughs> wow, Randy is. Thank you. Wow, you guys are talented. Hey, we did it, man. 33 points, Link. Oh wow! Have we this got that quite beautiful a ride. song. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. My name is Stefan from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. I'm here at ECTC, and I'm about ready to certify in Flux Core 3G. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. There was too many acronyms for me to understand what was happening <laughs> that there. That was intense, and the low <laughs> angle just made it real creepy. <laughs> Good luck with whatever you were doing. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us decide the most useful hacks in the world in a strange game of Would You Rather. And to find out where the Willamette Mythicality is gonna land. Hey, we wanna let you know about a brand new podcast hosted by our very own mythical kitchenier, Trevor, called Trevor Talks Too Much. Check it out on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts.